Workplace mental health has become a significant issue and challenge for businesses throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. Employee assistance programs and general support services like Lifeline are seeing significant increases in requests for help. Pair this with the most recent statistics indicating that the average mental health related workers' compensation claim lasting more than 20 weeks. It's certainly something that businesses need to stand up and take notice. To help shine a light on this, On Demand HR reached out to Matthew Council from Altius Group, a national EAP provider to get their insights as to what's really going on at ground level. And we wanted to share this conversation with our broader audience. I wanted to talk about next uh, working from home. So do you have any particular uh, tips or insights into managing working from home, the mental health considerations, and maybe even reflecting on some of the calls that um, the EAP uh, teams within PeopleSense are getting? Definitely. Uh, my number one tip would just be to go easy on yourself. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. We're all in this new environment that feels quite strange and it is challenging. And I'll speak about my own you know, experience at the moment, working from home. Um, my wife and I are both fortunate to be, to be working, but we are both working from home with young kids. Um, and not a day goes by that I don't have the toddler coming in and wanting to jump on the bed behind me and, and need my attention. And, um, you know, our nine month old crying on the other side of the wall, which uh, fortunately he stopped about 10 minutes before we got on the, on the line. Uh, but just being comfortable uh, and understanding that life's not perfect at the moment and everyone is just doing the best they can. Um, and I think, you know, that's for me a really important self tip to, to not put that pressure on yourself. From there, in terms of your own well being, you need to look after yourself. You, you cannot function at work, you cannot support your family members who might also be going through something if you're not healthy uh, and looking after your own well being. So it, it might sound a bit selfish, but it's really important to. to consider that self-care because you need to be the best version of yourself so that you can give your best to others as well. Um, and that's making sure that you, you take regular breaks, you're exercising, you know, it's really easy while working from home that the fridge is uh, way too close and all the, the naughty snacks that you tend to reach out to that little bit more uh, frequently than you did when you're in the office. Um, yeah, we're not moving as much, we're snacking more, we're probably having a couple more drinks of a night time. Uh, you know, these are all the, the habits that are creeping in, but you just need to try and make sure that you're being kind to yourself and you're balancing that and you're looking after your well-being.